Senator Rennick. Thank you, Acting uh, Deputy Chair. And I rise today uh, to speak uh, on the Australian Citizenship Amendment uh, Bill. And this is a result of Labor's mismanagement of immigration. And this isn't anything new. Uh, we saw it under the previous Labor government, under Kevin Rudd, uh, when Chris Bowen was the uh, Minister for uh, Immigration. We saw over a thousand people die at sea. We saw over a thousand people die at sea because of Labor's mismanagement of border protection issues. And as a result of that, we also saw 50,000 people go through detention facilities. And it took almost, oh, you know, there's still some people there, I'm not sure if they're still there now, but it took almost a decade to reduce that figure to less than 1,000. And this causes immense hardship, uh, it causes immense tragedy, and of course it wastes billions of dollars in taxpayers' funds. Of course, with this particular uh, Labor government, we now see that we've got this year we're on track to have almost 600,000. We're currently running at half a million, uh, but we may very well end up in the next 12 months with 600,000 immigrants because Labor will not control the borders. And what we saw here with this particular High Court case, that there was plenty of warning that the High Court was, could possibly make the decision that they were going to make. But of course, what was the Labor Party doing? They were off virtue signalling about the voice. It was all feelings and not facts. And this has been the great disappointment of the Australian Labor Party under Anthony Albanese, is that the first 18 months in government has been all about virtue signalling and not dealing with the basics of running a government. It's very easy in opposition to cast slurs and just mock people when they want to actually go into the detail but when you're in government, you've got to drill down into the detail. You've got to take the day-to-day -day, uh, concerns of people very, very seriously. And when it comes to this, Australians take their border protection and law and order very seriously. It is not a joke. Okay? And some of these people uh, who have been released are hardened criminals. Okay? It isn't a question about equal rights or anything like that. It is about applying law and order. Now, we've already seen a couple of cases where we've had one particular person uh, involved in uh, sexual allegations. Uh, another person uh, has been contacting juveniles on social media already, uh, a convicted sex offender. And to think that the Labor Party was asleep at the wheel when these people were released just isn't good enough. It is not good enough. So we need to go in and we need to amend the legislation to correct the High Court's uh, decision. Uh, I'm not sure why and how they, they, they come to these decisions. Uh, heaven only knows, but I, I well remember with the Marbo decision, it was a 4-3 four, four, outcome. The highest court in the land, and it was a split decision. I mean, that's the problem with the courts. Uh, it's all very much you know, based on feelings uh, and not enough logic. And I don't know how many times we've seen in the High Court major decisions uh, split down the middle. And you just got to wonder sometimes uh, how these uh, such important matters uh, can be uh, so divided amongst supposedly uh, the best legal minds in the country. But I just want to make one particular uh, point about this bill, and that is that there is a carve out for treating someone who has a monitoring device, who removes their monitoring device. There is a carve out in this particular legislation from treating that as a serious uh, offence. Now, I think that if anyone is released on detention, uh, uh, on parole, uh, with a monitoring device, they have to keep that monitoring device on. And if they deliberately remove that device, then that should be uh, considered a serious offence. Uh, it's not unreasonable. Uh, it is not an unreasonable thing um, to actually, especially when, as I've just pointed out, some of these people have already you know, got convictions and then they've already engaged in misconduct since they've been released. I think, well, well Senator McKim, I'll take that interjection because this isn't about freedom. Order. This is about applying order. law and order. This is about applying law and order so that Australians' order. people feel safe in their own country. So that Senate, Australian Senator, people sorry, feel sorry, safe sorry, in their own country. Sorry, just resume, sir. 
you. Sorry, and, and, and look, I do allow a little bit of leeway, but I would ask that um, Senators just be heard in silence. Senator Rennick. Thank you, uh, Acting Deputy Chair. Uh, President, um, so I uh, recommend uh, this bill in, in, in the hope that it does improve uh, the monitoring uh, and treatment of uh, you know, dangerous detainees in detention uh, and make sure that we uphold law and order in this country and keep Australians safe. Authorised G. Rennick, LMP Chermside.